Each week here on the pregame show, we get to know a Bison player beyond just their helmets and a jersey. This week, I sat down with a guy everyone says epitomizes Bison football, and that is senior running back Chase Morlock. Chase, we come to senior week here, and it's your final regular season home game in a place where you kind of grew up watching the Bison. Um, you saw some not so good years of the Bison, and then you come here and you rattle off championship after championship. Is this everything you could have dreamed of? Yeah, I don't think you can dream it up like this at all. I mean, there's people out there, they dream of being in one national championship game. I've been had the opportunity to play in three and one off three. It's pretty crazy. And, uh, you know, coming to a year like now, we got a, a good opportunity to go out and try and win a conference championship. So it, it's, it's just, it's special. You know, I can't believe how fast it's gone over the last few years here, but uh, couldn't ask for a better place to play football. You, uh, you come from Moorhead, so people already kind of knew who you were. You start as, you, you become a star for this Bison football team. People I've talked to say, when you think of a Bison football player, you think of Chase Morlock. When you hear that, what do you think? Oh, I mean, that's kind of that's hard to hear. You know, I, I wouldn't I wouldn't say me if I, I think of that, but it's uh it, it's very uh very cool and it, it means a lot to me that people would say that out there. Just uh you know I've given my heart and soul to this team just like everybody else in that locker room, and you know we come in and we grind every single day, and it's just uh it's just part of being a Bison. You, know, you go out there and you work hard. You don't take any shortcuts, and that's just what we do around here. This year has been probably maybe the most difficult for you, not not in terms of injuries or anything, but stuff away from the field with your father. What does this team mean to you? after all of that happened. Yeah, this team is so so special and just the way they've handled everything with me and the, my circumstances and all by the nation. I mean, the sport, support is unreal. I, I couldn't thank everybody enough, honestly. You know, it's just, uh, it's, it's been, uh, you know, as hard as it is, you know, with all the help and support I get from these guys in the locker room, the coaches, by the nation, friends and family in Moorhead. It's just, uh, it's helped uh, get through the tough times. That's for sure. It's uh, pretty special to be here. We'll, turn, we'll talk about this building. You, you came here probably as a kid and watched Bison games. Mm -hmm. uh, then to be out here, can you take me through the first time you walked out onto this field at the Fargo Dome? First time I walked out, oh, man, I, I couldn't even tell you when that was. But I remember coming here watching uh, games growing up, and it's just, uh, you know, Run, watching them run out of that, that tunnel there and just everybody going nuts in here. It's crazy being in the fan, being in the stands. I mean, and then uh, being in the tunnel, walking out, that, that's something that never gets old. I, I'm going to miss that probably the most. You run out of that tunnel and, you know, the green and uh, yellow flashing in here, thunderstruck playing, there's, there's nothing better. You get chills every single time. So that's, that's going to be a memory that I'm going to hold on to forever, you know, running out of there. I, I'm going to miss that a lot. You speak of memories. Is there another one that sticks out besides just every game running out of the tunnel? Yeah, gosh, I don't know. There's just a ton. I, it's all kind of a big blur right now, but there's just tons of stuff on the sideline, just in the individual, you know, personal things with each each player, you know, seeing guys, you know, Carson, Easton, Bonnet, all kinds of these guys over the years, just little memories with each of them I'm going to miss. But, uh, you know, I'm just trying to slow it down right now, kind of enjoy the, the last little bit of, of football again, uh, trying to enjoy, you know, all the, all the conversations, just the little stuff with all these guys. You got to slow it down a little bit when you're a senior. I've been trying to do that all year, and it's, uh, it's, it's something that I've, I've been able to do, and, you know, it's still going too fast, but uh, just trying to take it all in. Uh, we saw last year you were kind of dealing with some ankle injuries. You're healthy this year. You broke off a big run last week. How good did that feel? That felt really good. You know, I felt like I could add one more of those. My helmet popped off earlier in the year, so it felt good to just, uh, you know, get out and run. I was kind of surprised. I was checking the big screen to see if anybody was close. You know, I always kind of assume I'm getting hocked a little bit, but uh, <laughs> I was able to break free, and that felt really good just to, you know, get, get the squad going early in that game, which we've kind of struggled with sometimes getting our offense rolling right away, so that was kind of fun and uh, important for us to get going early. Has it been difficult? I'm sure you guys have heard a lot of people are kind of maybe harping on this offense a little bit. Has it been difficult to kind of focus in that in that room and and just stick to what you guys are doing? I don't know if it's been too difficult. I mean, we're a pretty tight-knit group, you know. I mean, everything we do is together. So it's, uh, you know, the good times and the bad, you know, we're, we're going to stick together. We're going to keep grinding. I think uh, not only our offense, but our defense and special teams, we're all kind of starting to come together as a whole now, especially uh, special teams. You know, as a guy who gets to play on all the, all the special teams, it's uh, really special to me. You know, we kind of addressed that these last few weeks. We don't think our special team has been up to par, and then we came out and uh, killed it last game. So I think we're going to keep rolling on that. And uh, it's just uh, super fun just, you know, being – it's special, you know, for me to be on all the special teams and play offense and do it all. It's super cool. You know, I get to be – out there playing with a bunch of different guys you know a lot of guys don't get to play with a lot of the defensive guys so we get a mix in there a nice bit and i i, I really like it uh, since you are a senior 
what does NDSU mean to you? Man, oh, that's, that's a tough question. NDSU is, is so much to me. It's been a place that I've, I've come, and there's been, you know, a lot of tough times early in the career. It's hard coming in here, and, you know, it kind of molds you into the man you need to be. And then you get to these last few years here, and you really start understanding how special this place is. You know, you just you see all the work that's get, that gets put in from the administration all the way down, and it's just uh, it's, it's hard to describe, but special is the only word, like, word I got for it. You know, I don't think there's – you know, many other places in the country, if any other place in the country that, you know, do things the way we do around here and just care about each individual athlete the way, you know, the Bison do. So it's, uh, NDSU is going to be a huge part of my life forever and it's just got the biggest spot in my heart. Good to hear from Chase and what a year he has had. And this is the career stats that he's had. 53 games played, 1,223 rushing yards over his four years. Mainly on special teams, his 71-yard uh, rush last week was a new career long, not a bad way to uh, end your senior season. 13 rushing touchdowns, six touchdowns out of the backfield. Chase Morlock, I told him, and I've heard this from everybody, a guy who epitomizes Bison football. Yeah, you nailed that. He does everything that's asked of him. Said it earlier, had his first 100-yard game last week, including 71-yarder. But he lines up at running back, fullback. He lines up at wide receiver in the slot. He plays special teams. Here's a kid that, obviously, the background story came from Moorhead High, a state champion wrestler, obviously an outstanding football player, but even a better kid. This is really a good guy and a smart kid who's going to go places away from the football field. He's an academic All-American. He's a 3.81 GPA in exercise science. And he nailed it. He epitomizes what Bison football is and what it means to be a Bison football player on the field, but also off the field as well. One of those special athletes that comes along every once in a while that you really, really root for and you really like. That's just it. You're, you're rooting for Chase. Mm -hmm. no matter what. Yep. You always root for Chase and, and just the person that he is, the player that he is. And that smile. Yeah. Infectious smile, and you see it all the time. It's easy, it's easy to root for him.